It's a convergence of politicians from the southeast and their allies from the southwest, northwest, and north central here at the Ladi Kwali Hall in Abuja. The discussion centered around restructuring, federal character, and rotation of presidential powers between the north and the south, with especially the need to elect a Nigerian president for an Igbo extraction in 2023. If the Nigeria as a, uh, a federation and all the federal units need to um, uh, equally present candidates for offices in terms of um, giving you sense of belonging, I don't see the reason why. Uh, my people, the Southeasterners, will not have opportunity on the, based on the Federal Character Commission and the 1990 Constitution from producing the president come 2023. Those who oppose Nigerian president of Igbo or minority extraction should see the beauty and win-win workability of all inclusive existence. The idea behind rotation and zoning was to make sure that every segment of Nigerian society has been given a sense of belonging so that in every part of Nigeria, everybody will feel as part and parcel of the country. So I'm glad that this idea is now being reinforced. For some of the participants, the Southeast has been politically marginalized and this needs to be corrected urgently. I believe that a lot of injustice has been done to Indigo, a lot. And the constitutional debates of the future must address those injustices. The challenge that we have is understanding that unless we go to universal truths, like the dignity of every human person, we will not make progress. Elections in Nigeria are won on the platforms of political parties, many of who believe in the principle of zoning. However, the choice of a candidate by a political party alone does not guarantee electoral victory, as parties still need to work to get the majority votes of the electorates.